Yo, Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother Jeremiah. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashim, Hamashiach, Yahweh So, uh, this lesson is going to be over Philippians chapter 2 and verse 3 through 5. Philippians chapter 2, 3 through 5. It's just a quick exhortation, <clears throat> and um, maybe even a challenge at the end. I don't know. But definitely a quick exhortation. This is um, Philippians 2 and 3. It says, Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind. Let each other esteem others better than themselves. So, <clears throat> something that we should be doing. This is a mind that's supposed to be inside of us. This is what... Paul is talking about. We need to learn how to start respecting one another and have a level of admiration to one another, right? We're supposed to have a level of respect. We're really good at pointing out bad qualities in people. We come from a, a sinful mindset, a sinful state of being where we're good at being evil. We're wise to do evil, but to do good we were not good at that, right? So what do we need to do? We need to change it up. We need to switch it up and we need to start being wise to do good. And the wise to do good here is to have admiration one to another and esteeming others better than ourselves. Start looking at the good qualities that the brothers have or the sisters have and compliment each other on that, right? Normally when you... When you admire somebody normally you tend to want to see more of the quality that you admire so if a brother is a good speaker right our sister's a good talk she's good at talking she's good at forming her words or reading or whatever the case may be normally you a person wants to see more of that if you admire that you want to see more of that um we tend to do that i think we're pretty good at doing that in our camp amongst the brothers, but I, my, I'm encouraging the sisters to start doing this as well. When you see a character, um, a quality in a sister that you admire, compliment her on that. Exhort her more than yourself, right? <clears throat> Let me read it again. <clears throat> Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each other esteem others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own thing, but every man also on the things of others. Right? So we need to <clears throat> learn how to look on the good qualities and not the bad qualities. We need to, uh, uh, again, just have a level of respect. Right? What Can you point... Can you point the good qualities out in that sister that that sister might have, right? Not necessarily her looks, but the qualities that she might have as being a sister, right? Really getting into her character, her spirit, right? What she actually, what's something that you really uh, uh, admire about her, right? Take the time to, to, to get to know each other in that way and not just the outward appearance, right? Look at your brother and your sister and find out their characters, right? Lord willing, they have developed their characters into a good person, into a good spirit. This last verse, verse 5, it says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ. So this mind was in Christ, where he exhorted his brothers and sisters that was around him the qualities that he'd love to see, right? Whether they had a level of faith or something that he admired and he exhorted that in them. So this same mind is supposed to be in us, in each and every one of us, man. So Lord willing, again, this is just an exhortation, man. Hey, if I was to have a challenge, my challenge would be this. Find a brother, a sister, and exhort her, exhort him. What qualities do you like about that brother or that sister and exhort that brother and that sister, right? So with that, 
I'm going to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh, Shalom.